what is up everyone so I came out here to do a little repotting but I decided to do a review first I got all four of these from a subscription that you can get in the mail and the company Ooh, oh, little bee, you're gonna have to go. Anyways, the company is Succulent Studios. Yes, Succulent Studios. I can put a link below for that. But anyway, so the first two, these are my first two that came in. They came in looking pretty good. Only thing is like, I'm in my swing, so it's kind of hard to get up close. If you can see, there was like a little bit of brown right there. But I mean, that's all it's been doing so far. So far it hasn't like gotten any worse. Um, I mean, I don't really know what this one is. It's not doing good, not doing bad. Like it's just kind of, it's not dying. It's not dead yet. So, I mean, I guess it's doing good. This one has lost a couple leaves, but not too bad. And the top of it looks like it's growing some new little babies. You see and wonder what these little white circles are apparently they come in pots that are um, biodegradable but i'm starting to think that my first month I, i'm gonna pull them out and see what i need to do but i'm pretty sure these are not the pots that they're talking about i think they might have ran out and put them in regular pots because my second month let me see if i can get it out i might have gotten it stuck in this other little terracotta pot my second month this is what both of them came in 50 times more biodegradable than what looks like little mouthwash cups so yeah we're gonna see i'm thinking about pulling these out and just taking them out of those little white pots and put them in there because i'm so scared i'm gonna end up killing them i mean so far it's been a month and they've been fine in there with them, but yeah, I don't know. But anyways, second month, I got these two. I can't remember the names of the first ones other than obviously an aloe. This one is a moon silver, and then this one is a poor, pitiful little um, Mexican snowball. Yes, Mexican snowball. It did not go too well. This one already had like, I don't know if you can tell, but there was already little leaves falling off and I've already had to like, I think I had to pluck one, one or two off. There was just like two or three sitting, just chilling at the bottom, which ended up being good. Cause I mean, it's technically kind of like two or three extra free plants if they propagate, right? This one came just not really looking so hot. It had a, dead leaf on it already well, then I wasn't really thinking about it because the dead leaf I picked off was kind of sorry I got an ant bite more of like a yellow color and kind of a little more squishy and I know that that is more likely meaning that it has too much water but I wasn't really thinking at the time all I was thinking was well these just shipped from California I live in South Carolina it is july so i figured i would need to water it again right so um, i just gave it like a little just a little drizzle just in case and then the next day one of the leaves started turning yellow started getting kind of clear had to pluck it and then the next day same thing happened so this is what we're working with right now attempt to propagate the leaf the last leaf I plucked off of it but I'm trying to let a callus over right now and it's not really looking so hot so anyways let's get into some repotting use this one for my little silver moon moon silver I always get that mixed up I'm scared it's gonna be I don't know I might put the Mexican snowball in this one now that I think about it basically for succulents it is a great idea. Oh, let me go get my stones. I have stones. I can get back in this chair now. Oh my God, it's a struggle. You don't have to. I've definitely had some where I haven't put any rocks or anything on the bottom, but it is a wonderful idea. 
to put like a layer of rocks or stones or like you know something like this i'm just gonna just throw in a disclaimer um i'm completely like i'm doing all this basically like not my way but at the same time my way which is the cheap way although i have done research of course too but like i should honestly probably go back to the store or wait to get another pot but i'm just gonna risk it and use this one and like the stones that i got i'm just gonna experiment with these that came from dollar tree but i mean they don't really look like they would be bad like i feel like they would be a good source of drainage anyways <laughs> so it's good to put that layer at the bottom though because succulents are not good in wet soil and very moist soil this just kind of gives like an extra little layer of drainage so it's not just a bunch of wet soaked up soil chilling at the bottom where the roots will be and also using a good well drained soil or well draining soil i right now am just using moisture control potting mix I'm sure probably not the best thing but it was all they had at the time and so far i mean so far so good and i've just been mixing it i just do about like half and half of some perlite that's just to help get the extra moisture out of the soil faster side note a little fun fact if you didn't know succulents store all their water or stems so that's why you can just let the soil just completely dry out and they'll still be fine so let's get some soil i probably should have mixed the soil before i put the rocks in there be right back all right i am back i forgot we have a nice big home depot bucket all right get back in this chair oh she ain't broken all right lord so i'm just going to add in this is probably way bigger than i even need it all right so i'm gonna do about like half and half um, I'm probably going to be spinning around while I'm doing this, so BRB. So, like, this is what it's looking like right now. Um, if y'all can see that. But I think I'm going to add a little bit more perlite to it because I tend to overwater it. It's more perlite in there. Here's about all the rocks that I have in there. It's literally like a layer that thick. Like it's a pretty much one layer, like one and a half. All right, I'm just gonna use this little pot because my friend has my little, you know, gardening tool. It's like BK, have it your way, baby, you know? what works. Am I right or am I right? I could be wrong actually. And you don't want to pat it down too much because then that's just more risk for some nice soggy lumpy soil. Alrighty I'm gonna just add a little bit more. Well this I should have just got a tool. it down very hard I'm mainly just making sure that the soil is even here's what we got there's about how much perlite and soil is in there and the little pot still in here so we'll see how it goes for this one I think I'm just gonna take it out of the pot just cuz I don't know 
Um, that just, it feels right. So <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. Um, since this one's smaller, I'm obviously not gonna use as many stones. So, I literally just put like one, two, three, like five in there. And it was enough to like put a whole layer at the bottom. So, let's go ahead and fill this little baby up. Guess I can just tear it. I don't want to mess anything up with the roots or anything. So, I think I'm just gonna. Oh. I might have put too much soil in there to begin with. Oops. I'm struggling. Some of this is just coming off, so I guess we'll just go from there. Mm -mm. I don't know about that now. I have nothing else to put it in. Poor little plant. I might have to be headed. <laughs> Whatever. Alright. Now, let's see what's going on. Let's see. Like, so I took this one out. And this is what it's looking like. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. I'm new to videoing so apologize already for this. But it's kind of like got this greenish color to it. It's like I don't know. But then like if you I don't even know if y'all be able to tell. But if you look at the bottom it looks like there's like the paper itself is starting to like disintegrate. But there's like plastic almost. I don't know. I think I'm gonna try to just, just repot it because that's just kind of sketchy I mean it looks like it's doing something but at the same time so we'll treat this like an experiment I'll leave this one in because I already have so many aloe plants anyways and I've seemed to do a little bit better with aloe and I'll just refill this one with a little bit more soil Another thing to also consider, do as I say, not as I do. Um, they say, especially with some succulents, you have to be very careful with touching them because I think just like the oils on your skin can mess with them. So, yeah, I've been touching all over these things, but it's probably not a good thing. Okay, but anyways, got them repotted. Um, Whenever we get back from vacation, I will see. That'll be another week from now. So we'll see what happens after another week. Thanks for watching.